All right, it's time to read music. Reading music is like learning a new language. It's another language. It's a universal language that works around the world. Musicians around the world speak this language and read it the same way, pretty much. So, <clears throat> when you're talking about use music, it's written in what we call manuscript. The process of putting the notes and the lines and the spaces is called manuscript. And it is, as I said, considered to be its own language. It's interpreted, and you play, you speak it like a language. And it's all about lines and spaces, and notes on those lines and spaces, and all of the other staff markings that go along with it. So, let's look at the staff. It's a system of lines and spaces. It's universal around the world, and it basically looks like that. Those lines and spaces, there's five of them. Four spaces. Five lines, four spaces. What goes on those lines and spaces is determined by the clef that you put at the beginning of the staff. You notice we have two staffs here. The top one is called treble clef, also called G clef. If you look at that second line of the staff, which is the G, you'll notice that the clef curls around that second line, that G, so it's called a G clef. I always thought it was G clef because I thought it kind of looked like a G, but it's actually because of that second line G right there. Bass clef is referred to as F clef. This one's a little easier to see. See the two little dots by the clef? They're on either side of that fourth line, which in bass clef is F. There's that line. There are the two dots. You got F clef. Which clef does your instrument read? Chances are your instrument reads one or the other, unless you're percussion, in which case you often have to be able to read and be fluent in both. If you play piano, you also have to read both at the same time. That's a neat trick. So let's look, about the, look at the lines on the staff. There's a lot of different ways you can remember those, but if you look at them from the bottom line, line one up, they're E, G, B, D, F. A bunch of fun ways you can remember that. My personal favorite, Ernie gave Bert dead fish. Another one, even George Bush drives fast. Uh, Elvis guitar broke down Friday. The old standby, every good boy does fine or every good boy deserves fudge. Make up your own. If you don't like any of those, you can't remember those, see if you can make up your own. See what fun things you can come up with. Bass clef works the same way. From the bottom line up, G, B, D, F, A. Great big dolls for Allison. Good boys do fine always. People like that one. I think it's poor grammar. But hey, if it works, whatever works for you to remember what they are, you use it. If you make up your own, share it with me, please. There's no right or wrong. Just whatever works for you to remember. All right, so let's take a look at the spaces. In treble clef, it's easy. They spell face, which conveniently rhymes with space. So from the bottom up, F-A-C-E. Those are the spaces in treble clef. In bass clef, we have all cows eat grass. All right. The musical alphabet. We use for music the first seven letters. And if your notes are going up or getting higher, it's just the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Notice I stopped at G. We just use seven, that's it, seven letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Going forward through the alphabet, the notes get higher. If we go backwards through the alphabet, the notes get lower, we go down. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. How fast can you say that? G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Work on that. We're going to work on that. And again, notice it stops at G. Don't use H. No H. H is out. So when you get to G, you just go back to A and start over. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Rattle right through them. Takes a little practice, but you can do it. If you know your alphabet, it's a snap. All right. So the musical alphabet also corresponds with the piano keyboard. Looks like that. Notice 
as I'm going to the right up the piano keyboard, the notes would get higher, and I'm going up through the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, E, F, G, A, and it starts over. If you look at a piano, there's more than seven keys. It just keeps going, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And again, I'm going to the right up the keyboard, letters are going forward through the alphabet, the notes are getting higher.